In this tutorial we'll look at the faults D3. Out on the wing strut you've got the airspeed indicator in kilometers per hour. Coming inside, you've got the magnetos along with the Bosch starting magneto. An artificial horizon, fuel tank air pressure, tachometer, the clock, altimeter. On the right you've got the cockpit light along with the magnetic compass and then on the floor in front is the fuel gauge. Coming up top you got bullet counters on each gun and then over there we have an engine temperature gauge which we can control using the water radiators. If you're pulling it out it's going to open it and pushing it in it'll be closed. Now we can start the engine just by pressing E and the sequence will get going. Then you can have a look at the pilot's notes for the Faults D3A. So now we'll get ready for taxiing. We need to make sure we open up the water radiator all the way. That's why the engine won't overheat. If it was cold outside, I'd leave it in. In order to taxi, you're going to have to add a fair bit of power. But then once you're rolling, you can reduce the power and you'll just continue going. So what I want to do is make sure the runway is clear and the final is clear. And then when we take off, we're not going to run into any obstacles on the way. The other thing is that you're going to have quite a bit of right rudder input in order to keep yourself going straight. So as we come around towards the end of this area, we're going to line up on the field. It's going to be relaxing that right rudder pressure. And that's going to allow the plane to swing around to the left. So relaxing the pressure, the plane is going to come around to the left. And once I'm lined up, I'm going to start increasing the power up to the max and we'll take off. So full power, using right rudder to keep ourselves straight. Add some forward pressure to get the tail skid off the ground. Probably not a good idea to be watching the airspeed indicator. Just going to go by feel. Feel the airplane get faster, we're going to add a little bit of back pressure. And then we'll lift off. So we'll just continue our climb up a little bit. we will make the left turn and rejoin the pattern and look at how to land the false D3A. land the false D3A on downwind. I'm going to close the water radiator and that way we'll maintain our engine temperature because we're going to reduce the throttle back to a thousand RPM. This will give us an airspeed of about a hundred kilometers per hour. By the end of downwind, when we're beam our touchdown point, we'll pull the throttle back to idle and then we'll begin a base to final turn with an airspeed of about a hundred kilometers per hour. Alright so now we're coming on downwind I'm going to start reducing the power because I'm at the altitude I want. Bringing it back to about a thousand. And we'll start slowing down, reach our 100 kilometers per hour. So looking about right. And close those water radiators to keep the engine warm. And coming up on the end of downwind, you're reading our touchdown point. So we'll kill the throttle, let's bring it back to idle. The airplane will want to pitch down. If we do that, we're going to maintain our airspeed of 100 km per hour and we'll begin this base to final turn. And the airspeed is good. This turn will be very gradual. The airplane will take some time to descend. We don't have a blip switch to work with, so you're either going to have to make your turn longer or you can resort to using a forward slip if you want. Still picturing our aiming point at the beginning of this airfield. And leveling off the wings slightly, continue flying towards the aiming point. Throttle still at idle. We can start rounding out, we get closer to the ground. 
level it off slightly. We're going to a slight tail lobe attitude. When you touch down. Then you have full back pressure to keep the tail skid on the ground. And then you'll be using rudder with bursts of throttle to keep yourself going straight and prevent any ground looping. That completes the tutorial on the Faults D3A. If you liked it, let me know by using the like button and comment. Don't forget to be a subscriber and you've checked that notifications bell icon. That way you can get notified of new videos when they're released.